Yeah. Hi, Giovanni. Listen, dude, we kind of realized that, um, well, you're with mom during her ailing years. Like, Thelma, Bebe, and Tito were with mom when she was growing up. Then I was with her when she was kind of like in the middle age. And now you're with her when she's kind of old. So she can't really cook, dude. And you already know her arthritis is kind of, well, it's messing her up. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start teaching you how to cook some very simple foods. Stuff that I've learned from myself, friends, or my dad taught me how to cook. None of it's going to be Mexican, though, because I don't want to take that away from mom. I think she should teach you the Mexican food before, you know, her hands don't work. And we'll talk to her about that. But first things first, we're going to teach you some simple foods, such as crepes. It's like the French pancake, really. It's like just thin pancakes, to be honest. And so, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a clean kitchen. That's the very first thing you got to do. All this stuff is stuff we're going to use that you do want to keep. But you always want to prepare all the tools you're going to use before you cook. So, and then always have a list of like the ingredients and directions. I tend to do that with a tablet, but you can get a piece of paper or write it down. But then, work at the pago. No, no toma bien ahí. ¿Eh? No sale la foto. No más, no más los ingredientes ahí. ¿Así? Mm. You say you crack an egg, Giovanni. He said, no, no. Echalo al sartén para que lo eches ahí. Lo bajo donde lo vas a batir. Porque lo vas a batir primero. Pues es la misma, lo bates. Francia. Ahí ya lo bate en el otro grande. Oh, my God. Giovanni, don't do it with somebody that's a backseat cook. Especially a chef. You know, shut the fuck up. First thing you gotta do is you gotta scramble your eggs, Giovanni. I always like cutting open the yolk, so it's just easier to like get the yellow and the, well, I think the yellow is the yolk. The yolk and the egg white to mix, it's like one solid color. So for instance, this is about done. Basically, you don't want to see any more separation. You kind of want to see this like, I don't know, butter yellow. That's the first ingredient, you just toss it in there. And the next thing you want to do is you get your flour. Now your flour you have to sift. You want to measure it too. So if you never use one of these before to measure it, got to be okay. 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 You know, please okay, I will sell the one of this on the Four cups. What are some cups and grams? Una taza. Okay. Two cups of all-purpose flour. So if you have a measuring cup, you can do that. Since that, this is a cup. I'm use my measuring cup. It's gonna be easier. So this is about a cup. I'll show you in a little bit, like what that is, in case you don't have a measuring tool. So a cup is about about like three quarters of a teacup. No. Casa Americana tiene esas chiquitas. Look, it's about three quarters of one of these. A coffee mug. So that's about a cup. You need about two cups of flour. If you don't know what flour is, flour is that white stuff that they use to make bread with. What you want to do is you get a sifter. This is a sifter. And then you can't toss in your flour like this. You have to toss it through a sifter. This is to minimize the amount of clumps you're going to get. You 
basically just toss it in here, you shake it, and you sift it. I'm gonna do this about two times. That's one cup, and I gotta do another one. It's fun, dude. It's like science. Well, basically, it's a science. Science you can eat. Alright, so that's all the flour. That's the eggs. Now we're gonna put two cups of half and half. Half and half is like a milk, but not really. I really don't know what it is. We don't have half and half, so we're just gonna use coffee creamer. Coffee creamer is very similar to it, and it's got vanilla in it. So we need about two cups of it. Six tablespoons of unsalted butter, unsalted butter melted. So now I need butter. If you ever look at a butter stick, they actually tell you like how many tablespoons it is right here. And you can just cut that out. So you kind of have an idea that, okay, six tablespoons is about yay much. And I don't need this rust. So, this guy up. Oh, and make sure it's unsalted. It'll say, well, this one's salted, so not this one. Same thing, all butter sticks have like that measuring on the sides. If you notice, when you unwrap it, if you unwrap it properly, it'll actually show you the measuring while oh, you've got butter. Okay. Cuidado. Put your lid on. Put your lid on. Put your lid on. Put your lid on. Put your Okay. So you have to melt the butter, Giovanni. You can do it two ways. You're gonna do it in the microwave. You're gonna do it here. We're just gonna do it here because it's easier. So while that melts, I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. So I need a quarter of a teaspoon. This much. Yes. One tablespoon, four quarter teaspoons. Oh, that's a seer. So now we need sea salt. Hey, David. So we're gonna put some salt in here. No sirve esa cosa. No sirve. Some salt crystals. There you go. Don't need this anymore. Don't need you anymore. It's very important you clean up what you don't need as you cook, that way it's not in the way. You can also hear the butter. Well, I don't know about the video, but you can hear it melting. Okay, my 
Let it dump. 30 milliliters of rum. Don't put wine, don't put rum in yours, but well, we can in ours because we're adults. It's about 30 milliliters. You can use one of these, but in addition, you can also just use this by itself and just mix it in case you have one. I know mom probably has one. Here, cup. ¿Cómo se llama? Batidora. Batidoras. Despacito. Primero despacito. Menos. Menos. No. Yeah. Es Pero hermano, a ver. ¿Ve? The trick I've used in the past when you're mixing stuff, don't move the batidora. Don't move the little mixing machine, move the bowl. What you're looking for is you want as minimal bubbles as possible. Darle vuelta alrededor. Porque va quitándolo abajo arriba. I want to get these outer edges because there's still flour there. And well, you know, we're poor. Use every ingredient we've got. I'm scraping all the excess and putting it to like one area, which is down here. So when I mix, I'm getting everything I have. Yes, sir. Okay. 
to na like to je unos mm. unos bubbles yeah now what you want to do is you have to let this sit for about an hour that's gonna happen now what okay you know what I mean I get it so no pongo por el refrigerador pongo el aquí afuera lo vas a aquí afuera so you basically let this sit here for about an hour. Um, I need to put a wrap on it or a towel. What the name Saran wrap? Okay. Saran wrap. Algo para cubrirlo. Okay. Hey, para the los sandwiches. It'll clean up when we get set. Uh, Genius. I forgot about measuring cups. If you don't have measuring cups, you can get a measuring tool. Don't worry about it. Clean that. Yeah, clean me too. Um, no. Well, this will work. Where's the camera? Those papers. Papelina, sir. Save this because you're gonna use it to cook. to sit over here it's very important you always clean up after you cook or just clean up the next stage this just makes things a lot easier so we're just gonna cover this now so no bugs come in here not to say my house has bugs but you know just in case there's ninja bugs so that's that There you go. So about an hour. So we'll be back at 12.40. And I'm gonna clean up. Con eso, I don't All right, Giovanni, look. You see how there's no more bubbles? It's pretty much flat. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Ah, that's good enough. Well, there's no more bubbles. I don't know where that black thing is. But that's about it. Um, now, we're getting a hot stove ready. You don't want this to be too hot. You kind of want it around seven or eight or around, you know, this degree. So, this is from the butter we used last time, but we can use a little bit. I might told you earlier that you want to save the butter we used. So we're going to do that. These are already clean, so it's just a quick little rinse. Is that it? Is that so you kind of use about half or a third of a cup of this guy. Get your butter, your batter in there. And then you're just gonna pour it then. Gotta do that. Yeah, kind of done. So the batter's in there, and you wanna spread it around to you cover every edge that's a that's a fair but it's because it doesn't serve as a sartén it doesn't serve as a sartén for that you're gonna wait now legend says the first crepe is always bad but okay the first crepe is always bad but whatever you usually want to wait till about 30 seconds to 40 seconds. Um, what you're looking for is if you look at the edges, they start turning like a little crispy brownish. Start notice them hardening up. I've started to learn that you can just kind of smell when they're ready. But I've also learned how to just count in my head. I think right now we're about 26 seconds. You just wait. I think this fire is actually a little too low. Put it up a little bit. And then once you start noticing getting a little harder around the edges, what you're gonna do now is got it video. So we're gonna look on look at the dunkers yeah come a little also the less yes. You kinda notice it starts getting like plasticky looking. It means it's starting to get ready. 
you want to touch every edge just to loosen it, and at one point you can just yeah, that's about ready. start getting under there. Lift it up. Flip it. Oh, no. And you give this side about 30 seconds. That's pretty much how you make a crepe. I'm gonna do like three of these before I put the video down, but this is pretty much the diet pancake. You wanna do it for yourself and mom. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be healthier for mom. Okay. Con el cucharón antes dije con aquel, no más que le echa y va a más que se extienda. Ahí está ese. ¿Eh? Está mejor. ¿Cuál que está bien? ¿Cuál sea? Pues está bien. You can use this one too. This is about half a cup. No le voy a poner crema. Ah, como la Nutella y eso. Eh. It's basically like a pancake, man. You can do whatever you want with it. You can put like um, honey, you can put syrup on it. People put like white sugar on it. Look, I'll show you right now. Just that. Every time you put in another one, Giovanni, you want to put a little bit of butter Poquito. so it doesn't stick. Poquito. Very little butter. Poquito. From the dad's one. You want to get every edge because you don't want this thing to stick. Yeah, it's all. And then when you pour it, pour it in the center. Like I said, you just want to give it some time. You start noticing get like little plasticky. There you go. Yeah, my boy. See? See, it starts getting a little bit more solid. Yeah, looks like barf, but it tastes delicious. All right, you want to give it a second? It needs about 15 more seconds. Some bubbles. Is it bubbles? Because oh, it's cooking. Duh. I'll show you something cool though. Okay, so now I like to start scraping the edges to make it a little loose. Okay, that's right. That's nice. really hard to do with one hand. No, I broke it. Whatever. There you go. That's still cooked just fine. As you can see, it's a nice crap. Now, let's see how much Huh? Yeah, you want this like coloring on it, dude. That's not. Okay. Okay. He's basically saying you kind of want this like light brown. Um, you know, it's probably my fault. This is only like my third time eating crepes, dude. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes like everything else I make. Delicious and perfect. Need ten more seconds. 
No, that's good enough. Put that over here. Well, I probably didn't just 10 seconds I was talking about. Now, let's show you something cool. I fucked it up last time, but I won't fuck it up this time. I hope. So, oh, 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 oh. I already fucked up now. Because you need to use a little bit of butter again. Just a little bit. This is just so it doesn't stick. Okay, that's enough butter. Get your batter. Check this out, check this out. We're gonna flip it, dude. We're gonna flip this crap. There go. Give it some time. God damn, this batter's delicious. Again, these are simple foods. Um, doesn't take too long to make. In actuality, you want to make the batter like the night before. So when you wake up in the morning, all you have to do is this. It tastes like, as you saw, like two minutes just to make one. And you only need like three or four and it's pretty filling. Some people meal prep with these. Like they'll make like 20 for the week. I don't know. Just what the French do. But, let's see, it's getting a little plasticky. I'm going to show you how to flip it. I'm gonna mess it up, man. Let's screw it. We're gonna wait. It's getting there. It's about 20 more seconds. Doo -doo -doo. I could probably make them thinner. But whatever. You can see like the edges starting to turn like a light brown. So you know you're starting to get there. So now, again, the same thing as before. Use a spatula, just loosen up the edges, just pull on it. And take the spatula and try to get to the dead center so you know for sure it's not stuck. And check it out, check it out, check it out. So now it's loose, right? So you see it just flying around? I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna flip it. Watch, 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 watch. Ah, that's a little bit. Oh, that's good enough. There you go. Let's see you flip a crap. One handed, too. It's a lot easier with both hands. And you want to give this another 20 seconds so it's a nice little crispier brown. I almost let this burn for too long. You want to be careful with that, but this is okay. And I'm going to show you like a pretty crazy way people eat crepes. The next one. It's like a butterball special. I caught the Letitia special for now. Cause my friend taught me it and I don't know, she puts a bunch of butter and sugar in it. It's pretty good actually. Eighteen more seconds. There, this should be good enough. Nah, I probably need more time. Whatever. Get some more batter. This is about half a cup. I forgot the butter again. This should be okay. There's still enough butter in there. That sit there about a minute. So what they do, this is a normal crepe. Hey. Get some sugar. This is pure cane sugar. And then you just put it down the center. Like that. It's like a churro, dude. And then you just roll this shit up.
And then it's ready to eat. Like the French say before you eat, you know, we surrender. That's pretty fucking good. I'm gonna get this camera out of focus, damn it. Sucks. Get my hand. I'm focused. I'm focused on the pancake. Again, you're looking for those brown edges. There you go. It's starting to get there. Might be a little bit too much batter in this one. Should be good to go. Come on. All right. So this is the crazy special that they do. You're gonna want. You have to be hurry. You have to hurry for this one. Just a little bit of butter. You put that right in the center, right? Look, we could sell. A little bit of sugar. Ah, oh, I can get it on the. Same thing. Just spread it around in the center. Put the butter in the center. What's the cost of those pinches, princesses? What's the cost of those? Francis, que estaba aquí? What? Oh, see. Sí. All right, we're gonna do another one. That eso. Ahí te lo hago. So that's like that, right? This needs about 10 more seconds before it's done. You basically just want to make sure there's a piece of butter in the center, and then what you're gonna do? No, no, it's bad. All right, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. This is like delicious poop. Ugh. No, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be real hard. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No, no, no. I don't want that chocolate spill. 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 Come on. Whew. Perfect. Oh, he's gonna fold it like that, but I'm gonna show you a different way to fold it, but whatever. It's about the same. Get uno. No. Okay, no. And that's about it, dude. You just do that for the rest of you, then you should be good to go. Oh, bye, Giovanni. Love you, Giovanni. Be safe, Giovanni. Peace out. See you Thanksgiving.